Good morning. Welcome to another uh, encouragement here at I'm Second Channel. My name is Brother. Because it doesn't matter who I am. The only one that matters is Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you something about something today and about a scripture that I've often talked about in Romans chapter 6, beginning in verse 1, where it talks about our sin problem. But I want to talk to you about it in a different way, on a different angle, from a spiritual a uh, uh, aspect of, of the thing, of the matter. Because um, in order for you to... If you get this today, oh man, you will grow. You're going to grow. Oh man, you're going to come forth in the spirit. You're going to be delivered of, of sins that have held you captive forever. If you pay attention. And so let's pray beforehand and we'll get started. Father, thank you so much for another day. Lovely, beautiful Jesus. We love you so much, Lord. And Father... I feel this so much in my heart and I pray just for the victory of, of the family of God, of your children, Lord, our brothers and sisters, our spiritual family, Lord God. Father, I believe you have birthed this by the Holy Spirit, this lesson in me to share with the, with the family of God. May they get it open eyes and open spiritual ears today. Father, that we will get revelation from you in Jesus' most righteous, holy, and beautiful name. We do pray and say amen and amen. Look, brothers and sisters, listen. Jesus always talked about, you know, if unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, then it won't produce. He's talking about a spiritual death. He also says that if a man would would gain his life he he must lose it and if he would if he would lose his life he would gain it it's a spiritual death he's talking to you about spiritual death and in Romans chapter 6 he's talking spiritual death to us and so uh yes while we're reading this take it all in but recognize that there must be a death that goes on and so today's the title of today's lesson is Why don't you just die already? <laughs> Why don't you just die already? Romans chapter 6 verse 1 says, Does it follow that we should remain in sin so as to let grace have greater scope? Shall we remain in sin so that grace will abound, so we will have more of God's grace and favor on our life? Shall we keep on sinning so that we'll have more favor of God? Of course not. We are dead to sin. We are dead to sin. If you're dead to something, that means that you can't respond to it. He's saying you are dead to sin, so how can you continue to live in it? If you dare to sin, how can you continue to live in sin? You have been taught that when we were baptized into Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. He said, I taught you already that when you were baptized into the death of Jesus, this is why when you get baptized, you go under the water so that it represents you being buried with Christ. In order for the power of the Holy Spirit to come on you and give you new life. If any man be in Christ, this says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. And that's why all things have become new because the believer died with Christ. So why don't you just die already? In other words, we were baptized. When we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. We were baptized into his death so that just as Christ died and was raised to a new 
he was raised and, and raised in newness of life when he came out of the grave. It says, so too will you, brother. So too will, will me, sister. We will rise again from that baptism of the Holy Spirit to a new life, to a new creature. That's why the old man doesn't exist in me anymore. That old drunk, that old man that got high, that old man that, that just slept around. And, and was never trustworthy. That old man that was deceitful all the time. That's why he's dead in brother nobody. Because I died with Christ. And because I died with him, I was raised to a new creature. Are you getting it this morning? So why don't you just die already? Just go ahead and die. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but I'm giving you revelation that will change your, the trajectory of your life if you get it. Let's read on. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him. We have been killed, our former self. Your old self was, was killed with Christ, was destroyed with him to destroy the sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. See, when you die daily, every time you, that's what Paul said. He said, I die daily. You don't mean I get up and I lose my life every day. But in the spirit, yes, we get up and, and I don't live to, to brother nobody. Today I die to who old brother nobody was. And now to I live in the spirit. I live for Jesus because I'm able to. Are you getting it? It says, let's go. We went into, and we joined him in his death. So as Christ was raised to, uh, from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy the, this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. Are you getting it? If you die daily to who you are and live for Jesus, the old man can't can no longer hold on you. So those old sins can no longer hold on to you. They can no longer hold you down and hold you back. Why don't you just die already and get it over with <laughs> and start living for Jesus in the victory that Christ won for us at the cross of Christ. It says, but we... But we believe that having died with Christ, we have, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin. So his life is, his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be said, to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. Consider yourself also just the way Jesus died and, and now he lives his life in God as God. You should also consider yourselves to be dead and live a new life for God in Christ Jesus because now you can because you have died and you continue to die daily to sin why don't you just die already? Go ahead and get it over with so that you may begin to live. I'm telling you things that I'm telling you something that I'm doing right now. I'm not telling you secondhanded information from the Bible. I'm living this firsthand. And there are brothers and sisters all around the world living this firsthand, full of God's Holy Spirit, uh, uh, overcoming sin in their lives. We are meant to be overcomers. Hallelujah. It says this also.
That is why you must not let sin reign in your mortal bodies or command your obedience to bodily passions. So since you have died with Christ, since you are born again, stop letting sin rule over you. Sin does not have power over you anymore. It says why you must not let any part of your body turn into an unholy weapon fighting on the side of sin. You should instead offer yourselves to God and consider yourselves dead men brought back to life. <laughs> you should make every part of your body into a weapon fighting on the side of Christ Jesus. And then sin will no longer dominate your life since you are living by grace. You're living by grace, that, in, that spiritual empowerment to overcome sin. And you're no longer living under the law of sin. Now you're living under the true grace of God gives us power over sin when we die to sin daily. But you must experience being born again. This is what Jesus was saying to Nicodemus. We must die to self. We must die. We must be baptized and, and, and be buried into that tomb that Christ went in. And when we raise up to newness of life, we will have power and dominion over the sins in our life. Are you getting me, brothers and sisters? Father, I pray this morning and thank you for this message. I pray that people are getting it, that they're that I'm not condemning them, but I'm, I'm that I'm explaining by the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you've given me how to overcome sin in our life. It is by our spiritual death and by our own uh, uh, our own will, Lord God, to 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 be buried with you. And to receive your spirit and be raised to a new life, Lord. Give victory, Lord God. May they understand, Father, uh, Father, what the spirit of God is saying to the churches in these last moments of time. You are about to come, Lord. You're about to come for your children, Lord. And I don't want people to miss out because they're still living in sin, Lord God. Not ever knowing uh, by, by those who have been teachers and pastors and great men, so to speak, that, that they always had the victory, Lord God. Let them know that they have the victory today and they could come out and be made whole and delivered, Father, just as you have delivered this nobody, Lord. Hallelujah. We won't be perfect, Lord, but my God, we will walk in victory. Let your word go forth, Lord, and do what it accomplishes. That's the promise that, that you made in your own word. We'll be so very careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, but it all belongs to you anyway. Lord Jesus, we love you so much, and we thank you. It's in your beautiful and holy, righteous name we do pray and say amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, get it today. Get it. Catch on to it. If you begin to die daily, if you... If you give your heart to Christ Jesus and really believe what he did and, 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 and have the baptizer himself, the Holy Spirit, to baptize you and just begin to walk with him, walk out the scriptures, just obey Jesus by the love in your heart, you will begin to have victory and see power over the things that hold you down over sin in this life. Hallelujah. It is so true. It is so real. And many, many of your brethren are already living in a powerful way, living this life right now. And by the grace of God, I too am already living this life. This is why I teach this so that you will also be living this life in Jesus name. So just go ahead and die already. <laughs> Amen. I'm second.